Hello everyone, I hope you've had a great day so far and that you're doing well. For this video we'll be going through an unboxing of the July 2022 monthly subscription box from Boxit. So this has just literally arrived today. Um, I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to do the video for it, but um, some time became available, so here this video is. Although recording it and when it gets published will probably be probably two days behind. Um, just because I'm trying to keep some of the content up and going on the channel. Anyway, another Boxu subscription box. Here is July, back in the usual orange box. So we won't spend too much time uh, looking around the box because same orange box uh, that we have seen before. Although one of these days I really do need to find out if you're looking at the box front on what is the correct orientation? I'm assuming it's this. Partly also because of the way the box opens but that's how it works in my brain. Anyway let's have a look at what is inside. Now I uh, wish I double checked what I Oh, the citrus thing. Just had to look at the uh, front of the culture guide. So, culture guide number 39. This is um, Nanatsu Fruits. So, it was a very citrus themed haiku in the June box, and I basically said it'll probably be like orange, lemon, and all sorts of citrus stuff. I'm probably not half wrong possibly not half right either but anyway that's the culture guide uh, we will be going through that in a moment in terms of what else is included we have a nice little card with just some of the included snacks and as always it's just a nice little thank you card so it's always nice to get one of these. I know they're mass produced, but it still feels comforting to know that um, our patronage is appreciated. So that was the little card that's included. Now, there is a look at the completely um, shoveled and sifted through box. It will obviously never look like this ever again, although I have had a few chances where I've come close to putting the box back together again um, in roughly the same shape it came in. So I will take out all these individual snacks and then we'll go through the culture guide and the snacks. Well, at least the outside of the snacks. I'm not going to sit here and eat through every snack. Um, would be a fun video. But yeah, it maybe one day, but not for this video. Not yet anyway. Okay, let's have a look at all these snacks. Okay, we had everything now out of the box. Uh, it's a very interesting range of snacks, which is always nice to see. So front of the guide, as we've seen before, with a very nice image of a sliced orange. Now, in terms of next month's box, next month's haiku hint, the warmer weather has a seeking adventure, vacation awaits. Hmm. Consider me stumped. Warmer weather, seeking adventure, vacation awaits. I feel it's going to be a savoury box. Well, more savoury than sweet. Hard to say. Obviously, living in Australia, it's I don't have a good indication of what typical Japanese weather would be like for the period, uh, which would be August. So hmm, I'm just going to have to uh, play surprise when uh, August comes. So Manatsu Fruits opening up the culture guide. So this month we're celebrating the Manatsu Midsummer in Japan 
and its bounty of juicy produce including unique citrus flavours that will have your taste buds tingling. Yes, I did intentionally skip two items, well three items that sound overly Japanesey. Um, there's just a nice little promo shot of the box with some of the items. It's interesting that they didn't use this for the thank you card. Um, oh, they've changed the uh, where our snacks are from. So it used to be just the map of Japan and the name of the uh, where it came from. But now we have just numbers on the map and the actual snacks. So. We have Omori, Ishikawa, I'm assuming I was silent, Hito, two from Tokyo, Chiba, Shizuka, Aichi, Hiroshima, two from Osaka, Yamaguchi, Kagoshima, and two from Okinawa. It's kind of cool. I like how it uh, gives you that rough idea of what snack has come from where. The let's learn Japanese page which I make it a point to skip because I feel to learn Japanese well you should also have the ability to uh, hear what you're going to say so you can at least apply the right tone and inflections. Anyway let's look up the first item so this will be a sweet one it is a muskmelon bushi bushi whatever if it isn't the Japanese I'm screwing up, it will be the French. Neither either. Um, so I assume this will be this item. It's a little bite-sized pastry, 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 with sweet filling in between two buns. Uh, so it's a cantaloupe juice type flavour. It does contain some alcohol. Obviously not enough to get drunk, but there you go. And that's that one in that nice little green package. Moving on, we have a, another sweet treat in the way of a Madeleine. So it's a French sponge cake. So it's a very cakey themed one. So that'll look like this. Uh, treat is flavoured with lemon for a delicious touch of citrus. Very cake driven. That's very cool. That'll have a bit of a lemon taste with it. Uh, oh, there, there. White peach jelly. Oh, I always like it when we get little jellies. Not only do we get one jelly, we get two. So there'll be two of those. So this will be another sweet one. Uh, one bite jelly with slices of real white peaches inside. So two of those. Oh, you can even smell the peach. Very nice. Uh, we have a little shortbread style cookie crumble, which I believe are these. So we get two of those included, these nice little cute little wrappers. Then we have a mixed berry cake. Oh, that sounds like a bit really good. Uh, which I believe is this. Um, so, perfect combination of light, airy, and moist. This cake interweaves the taste of cranberries, strawberries, and blueberries. This is a very cake themed box this time around. Uh, we do have one tea. Just have to reach over and get it, put it in an awkward place. Uh, green tea is flavoured with a peel of Comic Con. A type of mandarin orange native only to the Kagoshima prefecture. Actually, now that it's becoming uh, winter here in Australia, I should really start having some of these teas. Moving through, so we have a uh, Kamo Kamo pineapple. Actually, there's been a lot of sweet items in this one. So, chewy pineapple snacks. Um, Whilst it says they're chewy, just trying to push down, they're not chewy in the sense of chewy like gummy chewies. They are a little bit chewy, but um, yeah, don't expect to be chewing on these like a um, 
what's a good example? It's hard to give a good example because I'm going to assume everyone's from different places of the globe. And what I call Chewy is not going to be the same everywhere. And in fact, if it's by Meiji Chewing Gum, I think that might even give away what it really is. So we've got those. Uh, moving through, we have some little lemon type saltine. What are they? And so we have two of these. We have saltine like crackers and coats them a bit of a lemon cream. So that's sweet. I feel like I haven't seen anything savoury yet. There's two of those. Maybe that's the big thing for next month's box that everything will be savoury. We have a waffle cookie, which is in this nice little packaging crispy waffle sand, um, tangerine like citrus. So, there you go. I guess about citrus themed flavours is definitely well and true. We have a bit of a lemon tea type cake of some description, I guess. I will admit, the good thing about doing all these boxy boxes is it does really give you a better appreciation of the types of snacks and foods and labels that they get. Um, but anyway, there's that one. The lemon tea thing. Suffice to say, I'm not as civilised and cultured as I thought I was. Moving through. So now we're getting into a little bit of savoury. So we have these little rice crackers. We have two of those. So they'll have a bit of a tangy flavour about them. Um, Yuzu flavoured ponzu. It'd be interesting to try but well, let's see what those taste like. Um, we have a cookie. Yes, I'm just going to call it a cookie because, yes, wording. Uh, but we have two of them. So, cream center of this cookie is flavoured with a rich chocolate and a small and sour citrus. Oh, and kabusu a small and sour citrus root native to the Ohita Prefecture. But two of those. Um, we have some fried rice crackers and peanuts. Hmm. Now I think... Hmm. I'm actually not going to be too sure on this one. I might have to... Where is this one from? Okinawa. Okay, so it's either the green thing or the... Oh, I think those were the cookies. So, interesting. It's uh, this. There are definitely some rice crackers in there, but if it says there's peanuts in there, I can't really see... Oh, hold on. I think I do see one in there tucked away. So there you go. It um, should be this little bag. Uh, deep fried rice crackers are flavoured with shikwasa, a native Okinawan citrus fruit, and combined with peanuts. So a nice little savoury snack. Took a while to figure that one out. Um, and then we have... I like how they actually do this for the photography, but my goodness, what are they? Uh, Pokey car and lemon. I think it's probably a safe bet to say this is it. So that's this one. Uh, so this is a sweet snack. Uh, crunchy puffed and deep fried treat. And it's flavoured with Satuchi lemon for a touch of tang. I think we've got two snacks left. So seaweed tempura, olive and wine vinegar, uh, so that will be this. I wonder if that's this version's uh, little senbei type snack. 
I'd love to say everyone. And then lastly we have some lemon and salt crackers. And they're very uh, adequate serving size as well. You've definitely got a few of them in there uh, to snack through, that's for sure. And then a guide to Japanese citrus fruits. I myself am a big fan of oranges. I do enjoy a good orange when they're in season. Um, currently in Australia, mandarins are a bit of a thing, so I'm actually enjoying mandarins. Um, which is kind of what the... So actually, that wasn't an orange. That could be a mandarin and pomelo hybrid. So there you go. Um, so we've got this one. So there's a few interesting citrus uh, fruits that um, I definitely don't see here in Australia, uh, which is understandable. But uh, yes, there you go. Very nice collection. And then just your usual, if you want to get a few more, you can go to the shop. And then back to that haiku hint. Given that a lot of these were sweet, I think next box will be more savoury than sweet. But we'll see how we go. It's another, you know, shy of a month away from August. We'll see how things go. So that was the unboxing of the Minatsu Fruits uh, July 2022 box subscription box. Some very interesting flavours to sample and go through. Uh, as always, I do enjoy these snacks that uh, Boxu provides. It's a very nice service. Um, and yes, definitely in these times, it's, uh, it's a good way of being able to sample some of the uh, culinary items out of Japan. Um, given travels, a little bit restricted. Just a little bit. Not too much, just, just a little. But we'll get there. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to like, leave a comment, subscribe if you enjoyed the content. All of this does help support the channel and I do greatly appreciate it. Extra content can be found on my Instagram account, link below. Stay safe and take care and I will catch you all in the next video. And for those who are in the pop in for the boxer videos, I will see you in a month. See ya.